next page geometry. This is the last one for this section. This is still on translations. Uh, what I've got here is I've got two parallel lines, M and N, and I've reflected the red arrow across N, and then after that I reflected the green arrow across M, and I ended up with the blue arrow. So the question is, is the red arrow and the blue arrow a translation? Meaning, did it, is it the same thing as if I would have just slid it over there? So is a double, a reflection across two parallel lines going to give you a translation? And so the easiest way to tell that is if I just pick this up, I can move it around. It's not going to rotate. It's not going to change sizes. Can I place it right over top of this one so that they are, in fact, the exact same? Uh, why, yes, I can. So a reflection across two parallel lines does, in fact, give me a um, translation. We can look at that again. I'm going to take red. I um, reflected it across N and got the green one. I reflected the green one across M and got the blue one. So I want to look and see, does the red one, if I just slide this over here, are they exactly the same shape, size, angles, everything? And yes, a reflection against two parallel lines is, in fact, the same as a translation. And one more time, just to make sure you're, you're completely aware of this. And some added notation here. If I've got my trapezoid A and I reflect it across M, I'm going to get this green trapezoid A prime. Notice A prime, D prime, C prime, and B prime. If I reflect the green trapezoid A prime across line N, I'm going to get A double prime. So now A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, D double prime. That's how you say that. And if I slide the original one straight down, it will, in fact, land right on top of that one without having to rotate it or um, reflect it or anything. There's no mirror image. It's not crooked. So this is a translation. A translation and a reflection against parallel lines are, gets you to the same thing. And then the last thing, what if I translate across x equals 2? And that's not really translate. It's going to be reflect. How about reflect? Across x equals 2. And then I reflect it across y equals negative 1. So let me put those lines on here so we can take a peek at them. So grab a line. Let's make them red. So x equals 2 is this line right here. And I want to reflect this shape. And it looks like I have grouped it all together. So let's hold on a second. OK, so I have this grouped together. If I take this and I copy it, And then, actually, can I flip it? I can flip it left to right. Mm -hmm. And then I want to move it exactly one over from it. So that would be my reflection across this x equals 2 line. And then I want to reflect it across a line that is y equals negative 1. So let's grab like a green line for that. y equals negative 1 would be here. So I'm going to take this shape, and I am going to uh, copy it, or clone it. Do I have a clone? I can copy. I have a clone. Okay. So I clone it, and then I want to flip it, flipping it up and down this time. So now it is flipped upside down, right? Upside down from that one, and then I'm going to reflect it across that line. And that's what happens if I do a double reflection and they're not parallel. Um, this first one does not slide on top of the second one. It's not a translation. Um, you'll find out later what this actually does become. So double reflections across lines that are not parallel do not give you translation because I can't just slide this original one right on top of that other one and have them match up.